Welcome to Trade Funder. This video is going to talk about a dashboard overview. So when you sign into the dashboard for the first time, you're going to see the screen that you see up uh, in front of you here. Um, and we will get to each topic um, on its own, but what we're going to start right now with just some of the most basic uh, layout adjustments. So in the top right corner, you can see that if you click here, um, this will uh, sort between either a light mode or a dark mode. Um, next to it, if you want to change the language, it's available to do so here. Um, the right of that, this is um, actually important because this is where you go to edit, view and edit your subscriptions. Um, if you need to change the payment method, cancel your subscription, um, this is the section where you would do that. Um, next to that, is going to be your notifications tab. So this will show you if uh, any important messages relating to your account. Um, so if there was like a rules violation or a reset or a payout request, um, the notifications tab will be um, just like a pop-up reminder that that shows um, any important messages relating to your account. Um, going back to the dashboard, um, in the top section, it'll be your active challenges, as you see here. Uh, so this will be any any challenge, any account that's currently ongoing. Um, underneath that, past challenges. So this could be um, accounts that you had previously. It could be accounts that upgraded from a certain level to a different level. Um, those will all be in the tab here. Um, and then to the right of that will be payouts. So this will be your payout information. Um, so if an account is eligible or if you did receive a payout, um, this is where you will see it uh, in this tab here. <clears throat> Back to the left-hand side, um, dashboard, that's the, the currently open tab. Uh, underneath that, uh, orders. So it shows um, different different purchases. Um, so you can see like on your, if you only have one, one purchase, it's only gonna show one thing here, um, but you can review the receipt and download the receipt to your, to your uh, PC here. Um, underneath that, the payouts tab. So again, if you have any payouts, this is where they'll be. <clears throat> um, underneath that is the platforms tab. Uh, so this will be the platforms available to you outside of the web platform. Uh, this trade funder trader will be the desktop version of, of the web platform. Um, so we'll have a separate guide for you to get started um, with other important information, um, which you'll receive separately. Underneath that is the web platform. Um, and again, we're going to have a separate video that will discuss uh, the web platform um, and all of like the differences and, and the different layouts and how to trade. Um, but this is just an overview showing you if you're looking to access it, it's under the web platform tab on your dashboard. Uh, <clears throat> economic calendar, this is important. Uh, so this will show all of like the high impact news events. Um, this is going to relate more to the futures challenges. Uh, for stocks challenges, you are allowed to trade news. Um, if you do have a separate futures challenge, then please be aware that you will not be allowed to be in a position two minutes before or two minutes after. Um, you can see here that it lists the, the high intensity events. Um, it also gives you the date range. So these these dates, just um, be aware, are in the your current time zone. And so if you're in Pacific, uh, like I am, Central, Eastern, um, these are going to change and they're going to be reflective of the time zone that you are in. Uh, and then if you go lastly back to the dashboard, um, you can see that on the bottom left, um, if you do need to purchase a new account, um, you can click on the buy new challenge and uh, a separate screen will pop up where you have the ability to, to do that.